every single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. As painful as that was to watch, I saw Joe Biden as never before. Did his opponent show a different side of himself? We had the best numbers ever. We have the best numbers with them in maybe ever. They're saying ever. I read this morning where ever the best numbers. I just won two club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart. Well, I took two tests, cognitive tests. I aced them. One of them said they'd never seen anybody ace him. And I'd love to ask him and Will why he allowed millions of people to come in here from prisons, jails, and mental institutions. But where do you see these millions of people pouring into our country and they're going to take the jobs and it's already started. But Social Security, he's destroying it because millions of people are pouring into our country and they're putting them onto Social Security. They're putting them onto Medicare, Medicaid. If he wins this election, our country doesn't have a chance. He will drive us into World War III. We were using all forms of energy, all forms, everything. And yet, during my four years, I had the best environmental numbers ever. The country was going like never before. And we were ready to start paying down debt. We were ready to start using the liquid gold right under our feet, the oil and gas right under our feet. We were going to have something that nobody else has had. Uh, I've never seen anybody lie like this guy. Everything he does is a lie. It's misinformation and disinformation. Every police group in the nation from every state is supporting Donald J. Trump. Will you pledge tonight that once all legal challenges have been exhausted, that you will accept the results of this election, regardless of who wins, and you will say right now that political violence in any form is unacceptable? Well, I shouldn't have to say that, but of course I believe that. It's totally unacceptable. And if you would see my statements that I made on Twitter at the time, and also my statement that I made in the Rose Guard, you would say it's one of the strongest statements you've ever seen. In addition to the speech I made, in front of, I believe, the largest crowd I've ever spoken to, and I will tell you, nobody ever talks about that. They talk about a relatively small number of people that went to the Capitol, and in many cases were ushered in by the police. And as Nancy Pelosi said, it was her responsibility, not mine. She said that loud and clear. But the answer is, uh, if the election is fair, free, and I want that more than anybody. And I'll tell you something. I wish he was a great president, because I wouldn't be here right now. I'd be at one of my many places enjoying myself. I wouldn't be under indictment, because I wouldn't have been his political appoint, you know, opponent. Because he indicted me, because I was his opponent. I wish he was a great president. I would rather have that. I wouldn't be here. I don't mind being here. But the only reason I'm here is he's so bad as a president that I'm going to make America great again. We're going to make America great again.